What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katya. Today's lesson is going to be short and American. It's been almost four years since I made a lesson on American slang, and I think it's time to make the second edition. So in today's lesson, we're going to learn 10 American slang words and expressions that can come in handy when watching American movies and TV shows. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook, open your section for slang, if you have one, and let's get going. First, we're going to learn four adjectives. The first one, dope. It means cool, very good, awesome, it has a positive connotation. Two examples. The first one, this ghost town is dope. And the second one, her new song is so dope. It means that it's so cool and you like it very much. And we can also use dope as a noun. A dope, it means a very lazy person. One simple sentence, he's a dope. He really needs to get it together. If you don't know what to get it together means, check out my previous lesson on 15 idioms that can appear when taking your Cambridge exams. You've got a card right here and also there is a link down below. And now let's move on to our second adjective. In fact, here I've got two, frigging and freaking. You can use them both to express annoyance or to add emphasis. Two examples, the first one, this cake is frigging delicious. We can say frigging or freaking. So in this case, we use these adjectives to add emphasis, to say that this cake is really delicious. And for example, it's frigging difficult to find your soulmate. So the same, we could say frigging, or freaking. And in this case, we use these adjectives to express annoyance. And now let's move on to our third adjective, which is sketchy. So when you hear sketchy, remember that it means not completely safe, risky, or untrustworthy. Two examples. The first one, this guy looks sketchy. This guy looks untrustworthy. And one more example here, this neighborhood is sketchy, which means this neighborhood is unsafe. And now let's move on to our last adjective, vanilla. So when you hear this word, it has a negative connotation. You can use it for people and things, and it means that something or someone is boring, basic, ordinary, or bland. The first one, I love adventure, but he's very vanilla. I don't see him getting out of his comfort zone. And one more example, I don't like this t-shirt. It's so vanilla. And now we're going to look at three nouns. Number five, a shrink. This one is super common and you hear it a lot. So a shrink means a psychologist or a therapist. Two examples. The first one, there is nothing embarrassing about going to a shrink. And one more example here, the stress was such that she ended up going to see a shrink. Number six, someone's A game. It means the best performance you can give. And you usually use your A game with the verbs to give or to bring your A game, which means to do your best and to give your best effort. The first example, he has a strong work ethic and always tries to give his A game. And one more example, I've got a new job. I'm very motivated and determined to bring my A game. Number seven, the GOAT. It stands for the greatest of all time. 
So if someone calls you the goat, be very happy because it's a compliment. Two examples. The first one, Vladimir Zelensky is the goat. I really look up to him. And one more example here, Rafa Nadal will forever be known as the goat. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder. If you like today's lesson, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And remember to subscribe to English Vids if you like my channel and you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you very much. Number eight, one phrase verb. It's also very common to zone out. It means to stop paying attention and to lose focus. Two examples. The first one, when he began complaining, I just zoned out. And one more example, every time he starts talking about stock markets, I zone out. Two more to go. Number nine, me. We can say me or we can write me when something is not interesting or not special. For example, how was the movie? Me. And one more example, the date was kind of me. And we can also use me to express a lack of interest or enthusiasm. One simple sentence here. How about going to the cinema? Me. I'd rather go for a walk along the beach. And last but not least, number 10, I've got one expression, what a steal. It means that something is very cheap and a real bargain. Two examples here. The first one, just 15 euros for this amazing lunch. What a steal. And the last example for today, I got this pair of ripped jeans for 10 euros. What a steal. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned some new informal words and expressions. And if you want to know more, check out the first one that I made almost four years ago. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this lesson a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits if you haven't done it yet, and remember that you can catch me on Instagram, where I teach English every day. Thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely day and see you next Wednesday with a shirts and next Sunday with our long lesson as usual. Thank you and have a lovely day. Ciao for now.